first day. It's a warm day. It's supposed to be just above freezing. Some light snow mixed with the freezing rain. I'm going to stay off the lake and bushwhack up and over to my trail cam. That'll be these. These are 145s. And I also have the pole, which I think I've already mentioned, which I really like. And I like it much better than a pair of uh, <clears throat> ski poles. We'll see what happens today. We've had a nice hemlock grove. I am uh, tickled I'm actually doing this. <laughs> well, I made it over to my camera. And this is our, the stand there, right in front of that log, down log. So we'll be putting up a tree stand in one of these trees here. And uh, the uh, nine pointer is still around. I photographed them in December here at the trail cam along with, and there was another photo, another four pointer. And there was um, a doe and a fawn as well so there's quite a few deer seems to be around here we should have a good season next year well, I'm stopped for lunch I'm gonna have a can of soup lots of clam chowder crackers some jerky I may make some tea and uh, I came in on the skis I liked them it's a lot better than snowshoes I probably would really enjoy those snowshoes made from Russia I'm pining after those I might try to figure out a way to get a pair but that's for next year maybe so this is my Four dog tie stove. Uh, titanium stove, I like it. And um, what I burn is I bring alcohol, that's what's in here. Ethyl alcohol, I get it from my work. I own the business. And I bring um, a load of pellets, I burn the pellets. It's just, believe it or not, it's easier than trying to find dry wood in this deciduous forest. Oh, well, just boiled some water for some tea. And oh look, a piece of jerky. I guess I'll have a, some tea in the jerky before I head out.
I've made it back. Ooh, and the burgers are done. So this morning is, uh, it's Sunday morning, and this morning is buckwheat pancakes. Again, yes, I know, but uh, it's a little different here. Um, with muesli mix, uh, cranberries, and uh, there's an egg in there, along with uh, orange mango juice used to... Uh, we constitute everything because I didn't have any cold water. I had uh, um, cold water drink mix, so I'm going to try it. But Sunday morning breakfast, I'll have two of these with maple syrup, pure maple syrup. Coming out for some water, and there's slush. Water's come up over the ice and it's starting to freeze a little bit but you can see my steps are covering right in it's been warm <clears throat> it's only uh like 28 degrees right now but the next uh next three or four days it's supposed to get down there um zero to ten below that's fahrenheit so a lot of this will freeze up again, hopefully, um, but we are supposed to get tonight, there's supposed to be a uh, three to five inches of snow coming in. So this morning I'm going to get some water and then uh, I'm going to head out and go for a hike in the woods along the shore. down. This way, I'll be in the woods. I'm going to stay in the woods <clears throat> and look for uh, grouse and rabbit, but just to go for a hike. I doubt I'll run into anything. But I have my 410, just in case. I do. Maybe I'll have grouse tonight. That would be fun. <clears throat> you know, there's about five or six inches of ice. So I've been fishing all morning. Uh, I've been out here maybe an hour and a half. But what I've noticed is there's there's another group of fishermen. There's one over here. There's two of them over here along the shore. And then there's another group right over here. And they're along the shore. And I'm out here, not in the middle, but a fair ways out. My question is, what do they know that I don't? And it's probably a lot. So I'm going to go back in towards the shore and try fishing. See what happens.
back to the camp, loaded some wood in for the night, batten down the hatches. It's supposed to snow tonight. And now I'm going to have some cheese and crackers and oh look, jerky. And I'm going to enjoy my view. snowed last night. I left the uh, vinyl door up. Oh, it's Monday morning and it's pretty windy out. Snowy. I'm going to go for a ski. I got to get out. Uh, Monday afternoon. This is day one, two, three, four. Day four, and I've got to empty some ashes. And the problem is, it's so windy out that I'm going to have to put it in a pot and put the lid on the pot and take it out. But I definitely got to get some ashes empty today. I'll do that now. It's Monday. Monday afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> I just finished emptying the ashes, loaded the stove, and I just brought in a load of wood. And um, earlier this morning I tightened everything up, put some more uh, guy lines on. It is very windy. And uh, I've got to admit I'm taking a brunt of it here, I think. Tuesday morning, breakfast. So it's a Tuesday morning, and um, I'm going to process some wood here. Not that I need it, but <clears throat> I want to turn these into a uh, stash, some poles. Just to, I'll probably just lean them up here against the rock right over here. This is the upper portion of the tree we've been processing. Um, but this gives me uh, out and doing something. It's 12 degrees Fahrenheit out and there's gusts of wind 
uh, 20 25 miles an hour and it's going to be blistery cold wind chill is, is down below well below zero today so I'm going to just create some of my own energy here just something to do um, what I brought was um, my three foot crosscut saw just in um, crosscut saw and uh, I have my silky um, silky saw and um, my forest axe so this is the beginning uh, I'll show see how much I get done today Fair amount cleared away. There's still some brush up there, and I'm going to leave these uh, full light, and I'll pr process them this spring. I could cut them up now, but I think it's probably better to leave them the way they are, the bigger logs. But I got most of the branches stashed here, and they're nice and dry. That would be great kindling. <laughs> 